My name is Kikani Katija, and I'm a principal engineer at Ambari. And along with collaborators at Ambari, Sea Vision AI, and the Ocean Discovery League, I'm proud to present to you FathomNet. In order to understand and characterize the underwater environment, researchers collect image and video data to catalog the geologic features and life that lives there. Visual data like this video are incredibly rich resources, yielding information about substrate type, animal species, abundance, and relative distributions, which are important quantities for measurement. Very quickly though, we realize that as more vehicles and cameras are used to discover the depths of the ocean, we find ourselves drowning in data with limited resources and taxonomic expertise to fully process what's in this visual data. How can we tackle this data deluge and automate this entire process? Researchers are looking to artificial intelligence to address our data challenges in visual data processing. However, artificial intelligence requires a lot of data. Data can be divided into two types, labeled, where we know everything that's in it, and unlabeled, where we don't know what's in it. Labeled data is used for training a machine learning algorithm, and once trained, it is tested. If the trained model performs poorly during evaluation, more labeled data is used, and then this process repeats itself. However, if the trained model performs well during evaluation, then the model is run on the unlabeled data and presence and absence of objects or features are then inferred. It is this process though of inference that can enable automated processing of visual data. But our biggest bottleneck is generating labeled data. But what do I mean by labeled data? This is what an unlabeled image looks like. We don't know what's in the image nor where it is. To label the image, we need to identify and locate all the objects in the image. And as you can imagine, labeling is a time intensive task. With many researchers all around the world labeling their data, could we create a global repository that can be shared and utilized by the community to speed up this process? And that's why we built FathomNet. FathomNet is a public underwater image database for labeled data so that the community can contribute the data and use it to train machine learning algorithms. FathomNet provides imagery and metadata for ocean life and includes additional concepts like equipment, debris, and other geological features. Founded by Ambari, Sea Vision AI, and Ocean Discovery League, FathomNet currently contains visual data from Ambari, NOAA's Office of Exploration and Research, and National Geographic Society with many more contributions forthcoming as we only announced our beta launch less than two weeks ago. Our vision for FathomNet is that it's not just a database, but an ecosystem of services and resources that anyone can use. The database can be accessed via the website at www.fathomnet.org or by using the Application Programming Interface, or API. The website allows users to visually explore the data view metadata, and has a lightweight annotation tool to augment existing data within FathomNet. Tutorials and how-tos can be found on our Medium and YouTube channels, and code and issues are tracked on our GitHub account. For those using the FathomNet data, we also ask them to add their trained models to the FathomNet model zoo on our GitHub so others can use these models to process their visual data. And with this ecosystem of resources that FathomNet provides, we can deploy algorithms that can automatically identify and localize animals and other features in underwater imagery and after data has been collected to speed up the data analysis process. Additionally, we can use these AI models in real time and pre-program vehicles to search for and find life or geological features we want to study or sample. This is from a demonstration earlier this year and in the top left, you can see the bright colored text showing the mode that our vehicle is in. As we come up on a giant larvation, the animal that we're searching for, the vehicle automatically transitions from search, acquire, to track. Vaso coming up. Are we gonna get it? We just transitioned to acquire and now to track. And so algorithms like these can revolutionize how we deploy vehicles to explore the deep sea, discover life, 
and valuable resources in our ocean and minimize impact during sampling. And as the Fathomet ecosystem grows through contributions from the community, it could help unleash artificial intelligence to help us explore and discover our ocean. Thank you for your attention and thank you to our funders for making this work possible.